Welcome to another growing, grabbingly scary episode of Matt's Nightmares. And uh, not bigger nightmares are possible than Unreal Engine 4 errors, because uh, it seemed pretty cool from the screenshots and the uh, movie on Steam. Uh, it seems like a very Asian-flavored, uh, Japanese-flavored, I should say, um, kind of first-person horror game. Not sure about combat or any stuff like that, but it's apparently from a series of games. Uh, Kagero Shadow Corridor. Did I say Shadow Tower? God, I was thinking about Shadow Tower the other day. I was going nuts. Anyway, let's start a new game and, and hope we don't crash again. Alleyway. There's one archive and one Kokeshi dolls. The original difficulty is for Kagero Shadow Corridor. The stone door closed off for those on novice difficulty. Can't be done for those playing at this difficulty level. This mode is recommended for players that are determined enough to experience everything the game has to offer. An easy mode. Players find the difficulty to be realized. Alright, alleyways are never a good place to start. One summer at sunset, I abruptly stopped at the entrance of a peculiar alley. It was hot, humid day after a sudden rain shower. A cool breeze was blowing th from the back of the alley. Suddenly I remembered a pleasant summer day from my childhood. The memory stirred with adventurous spirit within my heart. Thus, with youthful anticipation, I stepped into the lonely alley. Okay, I guess. Alright, so I have a lighter. Uh, was that to the arcade? Fold down the actual button key to confirm. Okay. Wow. All right. This is a weird thing. That guy's clipping into... He's going inside the fence. I, oh, he disappeared. Ghost already. Wait, there's another one. Okay, right button. Uh, mouse click. Makes my... I don't know why I would need a, a light source right now. It is kind of during the day. Uh, but Kagero meaning like a simmering hot air that does kind of play into what the that opening explanation did. So... We'll see what that actually does. Is there a curse about hot summer air? I mean, it's gross. Don't get me wrong with the ball sweat and stuff. But that seems a little weird to base your entire game's name around. And it takes like a second or two for my uh, lighter to actually light up. Ew, what am I stepping in? Ah, just general alley juice. Oh, what's this? Okay, I will press Katarl. That texture's a little PS2-y, but that's okay. I'm kind of slowly floating down. Click on the right mouse to use items. Well, okay, I already kind of figured that out, but maybe I have to do it now. While crouching, your footsteps are silent. That's not good. I don't like that. Because that means... Well, what do I have to be silent over? I haven't even gotten a good look to see if there's like, I don't know, monsters or ghosts or what the enemy force is. So far, this is not the most inhospitable, you know, uh, menacing feeling environment I've, I've seen in a horror game in a while. It's not particularly putting me on edge. Check! Damn. Uh, missing Yuna Ayagi, 16 years old. On the evening of August 27th... Oh, wait, okay. At approximately 5 p.m., Mr. Y uh, Mrs. Miss Yuna Oyagi went shopping, but never returned home. If you have any information regarding her whereabouts, please contact authorities at the provided number. That's the best picture you could have gotten of her, really? The shadow people are attacking her head? I'm so fucking sh sick of shadow people. Every night I wake up, and I'm like, God damn it, again, guys? Holy shit, landslides in Japan's... San In region have led to the discovery of a number of old skeletal remains. Okay, the landslides occurred. Uh, a forensic investigation of the origin of the remains is determined for they came from 27 adult human males that lived approximately 120 years ago. The vanishing of Haruna, which occurred 112 years ago, investigations and the disappearance of the time were quickly abandoned. The newfound evidence, however, reportedly raises more questions than answers. Investigators note that the bones are contorted in an inhuman fashion and are severed in certain areas. The rest of the article is sopping wet. Mm. Okay, so a lot of skeleton warriors, which can be a good or bad thing, depending on what your view of skeleton warriors is. Uh, gigantic, weird, old car, Kigaru! It's a little on the nose, but um, blocking our way, so... The shadows are so dark, I really can't tell what is, like, a door or not yet. But I guess this isn't the right way, unless I can go up these beams. 
Uh, let's head back. Oh, I have my stamina meter? Okay. It's not bad. I don't like that I have a stamina meter because it just means I'm running from scary things. Which I'm not about right now. It's kind of late at night now that I'm playing this. I'm trying to be quiet, but I'll, I'm going to do a poor job. Okay, now this is a fucking alley. Holy shit. And my, my light source doesn't really provide much light. It's mostly on the It's mostly on the sides and not in front of me. The bu the buggos stopped owed. Holy shit, okay. Man, it's pretty dark. Huh. Huh. Great. Classic. You know, no no reason not to start off like that. It's a little, little, little ball. Can't, can't do anything with it. Alrighty. That looks like progress. Can you get a more powerful lighter? Can I like, a, like scotch tape like seven lighters together? Is that what we gotta do? That's a concerning knob. Okay, now I'm, I'm in an actual building or something. This is a covered glass ceiling. Jesus, okay. Oh wait, can I go through here? Probably not, but... Follow the light sources, kids. It's how they signpost. But it's also how they get you. How they fool me into thinking I'm safe. Damn, it's dark. Fuck. Okay, well, that can't do anything there. Uh, let's try here. I, I, this is... A, th this hallway... These alleys got real threatening real quick. I mean, I guess... And look, there's so... Like, come on. I can see the sky. There should be a little bit more light than this. Like, that's how much it lights up. It's just the sides of the walls, like I said before. I'm just... Uh... Popo! Damn it, that's gonna get me in real trouble. If, they, if they're gonna, like, put a little carrot on a stick, that's it. The dog-shaped carrot on a stick. Alright, is this still you know Yagi? Yes, it is. Okay, now it just stays on the screen. That's a little... Alright, I guess we're on, like, grass or something? Yeah, I was about to say that's a little janky. Like, the, it goes away after a few seconds, but it should just go... Okay, I thought that was someone's shadow over there. It should just go away when I move the cursor off it. It's a simple fix, but... As long as this game doesn't crash, I'm fine with any other smaller bugs. It's not a door. Firecrackers. Hold down on the action button to confirm. Firecrackers. Draw whatever enemy away. Okay, mouse wheel is what selects it, but it's really sensitive. Um, Alright, well, let's keep going on ahead. I don't like that it... Again, they're giving me tools. Tools I don't want. Not a door. May look like a door, but it doesn't smell like a door. Okay, are we back to normal C? Hello, bird. Locked. Huh. Uh, take this? Oh. That didn't quite work, did it? This is going to be annoying sounding. Yeah! He dropped the key. Oh shit, it's super loud and annoying. Ah, let's open. No! Uh. Unlocked. Let's go! Alright, thank God. Sorry about all that racket, everybody. I didn't know firecrackers would be so firecrackery. 
So, do, do do we still want to do this? We just want to go down this alley for childlike adventure. Okay, that's where I fell down originally. I think. So I just loop back around. Huh. Okay, me just running on the grass is what scared me. Whoa. So, I think it was a dog. It could have been. It could have been a neko. Some gravestones. Uh, all right, I guess we got to go this way. Hmm. Yes, look at this childlike adventure I'm having. It's so much fun. Yeah, you know what other the childlike adventure there was? It was called It. It wasn't great. Let's see how dark this is. Though I don't have my. Yeah. Okay, it's a little bit more useful in this area, I suppose. Oh my god. Like, come on, this light source. If some fucking green face comes at me, I'm quitting. Alright, it's been like three minutes of walking up. Oh. Okay. Fuck. God, I don't want to turn around now. I guess I gotta. Let's quicken pace. Sounds like the golden eye noise when you take damage. Oh yeah, I'm having childlike fun. Man, the, the memories of my youth all flooding back. Damn it, Hiroshi, why are you so stupid? Oh, man. Okay, we, we were... Okay, I thought that, I thought those were, like, rib cages or skeletons or something. Well, that was a way... That was an excuse to change the skybox to be uh, more at night. All right, well, the alleyway's done now. So it is a kitty. God, it's so dark. Kitty, I'm sorry. I'm coming. Oh no! Oh god. <laughs> Is that just like the opening, like, title? Okay, well at least that cat model is hilariously bad, so I don't feel that terrible. Uh-huh. Yeah, that looks like a party. I mean, I'm down. Oh, okay, so a predator got super pissed and just nuked everything in g ghost radiation. Oh. Uh. Alright, alright. Fuck. Oh, oh no. All right, we're definitely getting into the shadow corridors. Yeah, God, I really wish I could get like a torch or a lamp or a flashlight. I mean, it's not like this is in like feudal Japan or something. They have flashlights at this time, whatever year this is. All right, well, it looks like a nice field out there. Ah. If you know I'm going to press the sprint button, it's still kind of scary. All right, well, this looks nice. It kind of reminds me of that opening level, level of the Shadow Warrior reboot. It has all the, the many, many, many God filters. Sorry, God filters, God rays coming through the forest canopy. All righty. It is so dark. Ah, uh, sliding doors are creepy when they're all disheveled like that. Um, and kind of dirty. Like, it's not, a, it's not a fun look. It's not very festive. Okay, I can't walk forward for some reason, so... Alright, there there you go. I couldn't do it as well when the when I had that kitty cutscene. 
Aw, oh, Jesus, I'm gonna break this plate by accident, aren't I? Or a mirror? I'm not sure what this is. Oh, checkpoint. Okay, what... This is basically Boo Haunted House, but uh, Japan edition. Can't do that. All right. Let's have two firecrackers for something. Not sure what I'd use them like for now. I guess throwing them at birds. Oh, God. The fact there's really been no enemies yet is re I really hate that. I'd rather there have been shitloads of enemies throughout the start so I could get used to it. It's so dark! What is this? Some type of ghost prison? Uh. Fuck. Yeah, okay, at least that helps out. I mean, not really, but... Fan fucking tastic. We have Asuka masks all over the place. I wish Asuka could help me play this. <laughs> okay, let's let's check out over here first to see if I missed anything. And that could be something. I guess it's just a plate of dirt. And you know that really fancy dirt with the nutrients is uh I can't compete with that stuff. Alright, there's keys. But there's several. Take item, take item. I guess I'll take this one. Oh, why the fall? Oh my god! You fucking bumble lord! Oh, okay. Oh, why is it so dark again? Uh. Something's gonna fucking attack me. I can't even get a sense of the level design because it's so fucking dark. I'll try to see if I can turn up the brightness a bit for you guys when I actually edit the video. Well, at least that confirms that, that, that Neko-chan is okay. Or, or not, I don't know. That could have just been a flashback it was showing me. The cat just kind of triggered it, I don't know. Yeah, why don't I just be quiet? I'm slow, but quiet. Well, I'm actually none of the, neither of those things in real life, so... Wait, what? Uh-oh. This can't be good. Oh... Uh. Well, shit! The darkness has consumed you. Apparition of the Kagura Bell was added to the archives. You start from checkpoint. Jeez, that didn't fuck around. So I did not have a lot of time to react to that. So I guess what I'll attempt is to throw my firecracker. It's the only thing I got, really. Uh, and if throwing my firecracker won't work, I guess I'll run backwards. But I'll throw the firecracker. Yeah, 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 yeah. And since it takes a firecracker a little bit to, like, start up, I'll just throw it right away. Okay, well that didn't do anything. Fuck you! Okay, Apparition of the Kagura Bell. The Apparition of the Kagura Bell is especially troublesome. Because of its bloody life, when it hears someone running, it will check the location where the noise is made. When you hear its bell, take care not to run recklessly through the corridors. Which is weird, because I thought I had ducked down and I was being quiet, but I guess it heard me. Um, so yeah, just be really fucking quiet when you hear its shitty bell. So I'll, I'll stay quiet right now. So... It'll be even more quiet when the ghost does not hear my steps because it's so quiet. 
Wait, can I actually avoid the encounter altogether by just knowing where it's going to be? Or did it trigger... No, wait, it triggered down this hallway. Never mind. Just kind of bullshit when you think about it. I outsmarted the ghost. I know this is where the ghost will start getting pissed. So if I pre-quiet now, there should be no reason for the ghost to be angry. Yeah, she, my, my guy just gets up automatically. Okay, I'm being real quiet. Okay, so now I guess I'll just slowly walk backwards. Uh, cause, cause, cause I'm running out of ideas. Yes, yes, can we skip this part? No, okay, cool. It's a very, very creepy bell you have, ma'am. Believe me, it's real creeps. So I'll just slowly walk away. Not looking at you. Oh, no. I'll just slowly go over here. I don't know how far I have to run. Okay, my stamina is out. The ghost is right behind me, yeah. So that was Kigero's Shadow Corridor. Uh, uh, I, I must be an idiot. I can't figure my way uh, past the first enemy, but it does have a creepy vibe. I'm sure smarter people than me will figure out that first ghost patterns. Maybe perhaps a gun, maybe a proton pack, I'm not sure. It was $8 on Steam. Um, I'm sure there's probably some other fun stuff in there later, but uh, yeah, it's, when your very first encounter is pretty frustrating and it's not really telling you what you need to do um, and it goes against the rules of what it told you, it's a little frustrating, but um, still... Um, it has a nice dreadful atmosphere, so there's that. If you guys know of any other horror games uh, you'd like to see me play on Matt's Nightmares, uh, give a spooky comment below or send a horrifying email to mammamuscles at gmail.com.